Yesterday we talked about the diligent person. Today we're looking at the opposite of the diligent person. is the person that the book of Proverbs normally calls the lazy person. The lazy person. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 15 and 16. The lazy man buries his hand in the bowl. It wearies him to bring it back to his mouth. The lazy man is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. I just like the constructions in the book of Proverbs. Uh, there is some humor there uh, when you read them. And so the lazy person is a person who is slow and idle. And in the book of Proverbs, the lazy man is also sometimes called the fool. It's not a pleasant way to be called that way, but if you're lazy, that's how you're called, a fool. So there are people who like to take easy way out. So there are a few things that this passage talks about the lazy man. It says first that the lazy man buries his hand in the bowl. He's likened to a person sitting at table eating food. The food is prepared. The food has been prepared. The food is set before him. He puts his hand into the bowl to pick up something to eat, and his hand stays stuck and doesn't come up. So, the, so what does that mean? The, the lazy man is a person who is given opportunity, and he gets involved in the opportunity, but stays and doesn't do anything. And there are people like that. You, you plan for them, you work for them, you do an application for them, you, you fix a meal for them. All they have to do is eat it. But for some reason, they put their hands in there, but they don't have the commitment to work and bring back what they have started the process with. So the lazy man is that person. You give them an assignment, they stay where they are. Their hand is buried in the bowl. One week later, their hand is buried in the bowl. Every year, they give you the same excuse. They give you the same report. No progress made. Nothing forward. And their hand is buried in a bowl. And if you are that person who keeps giving the same excuse every year, please, your description is being played out in the scriptures. The second thing about the lazy man is that it wearies him to bring his hand to his mouth. It wearies him. The whole process of taking what he has touched and bringing it out and, and working it out, he doesn't have the energy. He, it wearies him. So the lazy man represents those who don't follow through on a project. They don't follow through on an assignment. They tell you, I'm going to do this, but their hand is buried and they don't put in the effort and the work needed to translate an opportunity into a reality. So you give them an opportunity and they're stuck. And then the third thing the passage says about the lazy man is that he's wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. In other words, you can't even reason with him. He makes up his mind, he makes up his excuses, and he feels right in his own eyes. And, and, and he debates, although he's not making sense, he holds his own against sensible people. So the tragedy of a lazy person is that you can't even convince him that he is wrong. Because it's only when a person is convinced he's wrong that he can change. He can turn around, he can repent. But if a person thinks that their way is right, and all logic shows that their way is wrong, but they never see it. They can never change. And that is why uh, year after year, decade after decade, they are still where they are, hands buried in a bowl and never taking advantage of the opportunities that are created for them. Unfortunately, sometimes they blame everybody else for their failure and not themselves because the lazy man cannot be reasoned with. Now, there are individuals, unfortunately, that are like the lazy man. Sometimes it's in a group, a family can have this attribute where everybody just has this approach to life. And sometimes you can see it in a company. Sometimes you can see it in a nation. You can see it in a community amongst a group of people who never take advantage of all the great opportunities 
that are worked out for them. I know none of you is like that. I'm persuaded that you're not like that. But in case you are like that, I hope that this will help you to turn around and be a diligent person. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, deliver me from all forms of laziness. Help me to never shy away from work that needs to be done. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otterville. Shalom, peace, and life to you.